This is uh, Kevin DeClaren again. This is uh, video two of the same case this morning on a Tuesday, the uh, 25th of November. And uh, the police department did not show up until about 5 in the morning. Um, and uh, I have brought my coffee cup here. Um, brought some coffee. Um, I have some food. Um, and uh, Portland police did not come. Maybe between 5 and 6 o'clock in the morning as I charge my phone here, they'll show up for the report, but I don't think they're uh, going to. Uh, there's nobody here um, at Starbucks, as you can see. There's, there's nobody here. It's just myself. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, and I think they've had one other customer, and that's it. Um, rape is such a very delicate uh, subject to talk about, um, and they've done it so many times, so repeatedly. Um, to drive me out of the country and to send me back to Haiti and uh, basically uh, to uh, to destroy my testimony in the Christian faith um, and um, you know it's, it's it's a sad thing when you look at yourself in the mirror and to think that you're nothing but a victim like those people who are victimized uh, as slaves and as people who have been lynched in this country to think that that's the history of your people and not only of your people but also the um, this is what all of our children are being born into um, to think that you know the Ferguson case the uh, Rodney King case and, and now my case and all of the other individual cases but it all goes back to a specific root and this is this is where it's at with us as a family and as a community even those of us that are mixed um, it's you know it's like it's, it's sort of like a cruel joke coming from above, you know, it's almost like God is playing a cruel joke on our people, and um, and I can't bear or carry the whole thing on my own shoulders, but um, I know that, you know, when you read the Bible, you read about God's promises in that year, um, Romans 12, 19, where it says that, um, vengeance is mine, I will repay, you ask, it's at this hour that you ask, how are you going to repay me? How are you going to repay the evil that is done against your church? How is how are you going to repay the evil that is done against um, us Africans who are also your image? How are you going to repay um, this American European government? How are you going to repay these people for all the evil that they have done? Um, you know, and it's and it's, uh, it's it's at this hour that you look at yourself and you go, God, you know, I mean, I'm being hit on every level. Where do I turn to? Do I turn against the faith? Do I turn to the faith? Uh, is there still a faith, um, or you know, is this at the hour you say, you know, uh, there is no God? Because if there was a God, I would be going through so much. Um, I don't think that I need to go to those extents to deny God's position, but I think this is where you have to really understand that we are in the end times, and sin is prevalent um, to take control over people's lives, and. Um, this is, this is where it's at today in the 21st century, and people are going to get, and if we're not strong in the faith and strong in the word, and remember Joshua, after Moses left, God told them to be strong and courageous. This is where it's at with all of us who are in the church, and we have to be strong and courageous, because um, if we're not, we're going to lose footing, and we're going to lose um, our position in Christ, and um, the racism, the bigotry, the hate, um, the satanic position that that is ruling over this nation will overtake us by surprise and will mislead us in this guy that can literally crush us um, to unbelief. And so, you know, if all that God has given to us is His Word and His Spirit, then we basically have to stay on top of um, everything that is thrown at us and everything that is dumped on our plate. We must exercise faith whether we want it or not. We have to stay faithful um, to the truth and we have to stay within the context of uh, Judeo-Christianity and nothing more than Judeo-Christianity because we don't know which way the, you know, the darts are, are coming. And when the darts come, they are they are coming to strike uh, and to basically rip the Christ um, that is rooted in us out of us so that we remain, uh, you know, always questioning whether or not God loves us, and He does, whether or not God is here, He is here. Um, and so we have to do this, you know, um, with or without the, the, the protection of, um, you know, of, of, of the Lord, and we have to remain in the faith, uh, um, and we have to keep 
doing the things that were paid, uh, no matter how difficult it is. You know, in the Old Testament, the Jews, when they were released from captivity um, after 70 years, they had the sword in one hand and then a tool in another hand to rebuild the, the, uh, not only the walls of Jerusalem, but Jerusalem itself that had been overtaken by unbelievers. So, you know, at this hour, I have to have um, the Bible in one hand, and um, which is this here. Right, the Bible in one hand, and then I've got this camera here, um, communicating to to you, Bo Church, uh, and to you, government, and to you, unbelievers, that this is where it's at in, in my world, in in, in, um, in my relationship.